Uh, my kids are 10 and 12. Uh, ben and Annie. When Annie was young, uh, when in kindergarten, when she was asked, what does your daddy do? She said, oh, he builds robots. And teachers didn't really believe her until she finally, because she was kind of a, a jokester. And they'd ask, well, what do the robots do? They fall down. I am Jerry Pratt. I'm a senior research scientist at the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition. I have been at IHMC for 13 years, and I have been doing research on various robotics, particularly humanoid robots and bipedal walking balance. Yeah, I went to MIT undergrad from 1990 to 1994, then I became a grad student in the MIT Lig Laboratory from 94 to 2000, where we were studying various running and walking robots. The MIT Lig Lab is kind of the genesis of a lot of where modern robotics is, and he was there at that point in time, so it seems like the core aspects of how we do walking and how we do dynamic walking on robotics right now is based on some of his original stuff, so that that's part of where our lab gets the beginning of its reputation, and we've built on that from there. Okay, I, I joined IHMC in April of 2002. We wanted to make um, gas-powered hydraulic robots that could go long distance. Uh, the first version we made was what we call a one-legged monopod, which was just kind of a test system. So they figured they could start with one leg and get that working well and then expand it to four legs to make a quadruped. But we uh, decided instead to shift from making a quadruped to making a biped. And that's when we made M2V2. And at that point, we were able to test on a real robot some of these um, concepts on capture points and capturability that we were developing. All right, so Jerry, John Rabul, and Tuan Kulin published two papers in a journal. This paper is a landmark paper in the field of legged locomotion that has not only been referenced, but the concept have been implemented on many robots by leading researchers in locomotion. Then from that, we built the T-Bot, which was massive and dangerous, but a lot of fun. Tim Hutchison here at IHMC came up with the idea, and we worked on it together. Um, T-Bot is uh, a balancing robot, balances much in the same way as a Segway, but it can also have this four-wheel mode and transition between four wheels and two wheels. Well, around 2005, Johnny Godowski joined IHMC. Uh, he, he had some really great ideas for running robots. So the hex runner robots and fast runner robots have very few sensors. They're just a couple of actuators on the robot. Uh, you just have a throttle, and based on the dynamics and geometry of the mechanism, the robot runs stably at very high speeds. Normally with a legged robot, you'd have some sort of gyroscope on board that senses the orientation of the body and have some really quick feedback that stabilizes the robot. With fast runner, that just happens naturally. Uh, the la for the last three years, we've been really concentrating on the DARPA Robotics Challenge. So that was about three years of work for the lab with a team of about 20 to 25 people at any given time, developing algorithms and having algorithms work on robotic hardware. So it was kind of Jerry's dream of getting his chance to apply these algorithms onto the robotic hardware. So we have a really amazing logging system that's taking in 10,000 different variables, recording them a thousand times a second, and four video screens. This is a really powerful tool because after action review, you can look at the logger and excruciatingly detailed data can tell you what's going wrong. Um, it's not just the ability to record the data, but the ease and access in which we can get at that data, I think is really the key thing there. So it's really been pushing forward the capabilities of the robots. Uh, as far as like the science behind walking, we've expanded on our capturability ideas and also on um, whole body controllers for humanoid robots. I, I've never seen anyone try as deliberately hard to be a good leader as Jerry. Like He reads, reads self-help books on how to do team management and all of this stuff. He, he like deliberately applies these principles and he ends up doing a really good job of it, despite his self-proclaimed inability to give motivational speeches. He does give the worst motivational speeches I've ever seen in my entire life. It is a gift. So here's a guy that over the course of his career literally conceptualizes and builds groundbreaking robotic platforms. That's only part of the story because along the way he literally had to invent a series of hardware and software tool sets that would allow him to solve the problems that he was looking to solve. Forget about the robots, forget about the tools. He conceptualized and, and published 
these seminal theories that literally changed the course of multiple fields of study. Oh yeah, in his spare time he and his wife found the area's only non-for-profit science museum for children. How do you run the robot? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs>